Internet momentarily lost connection. I got Comcasted. I like seeing it's like, hey, stream is down. It's like five messages above. Refresh, stream is up. Jarek, your stream is down. <laughs> no, it's not. Anyway. Yeah, I am back. Also, correct your. Okay. Let's see if I can beat the rest of the game without Comcast randomly disconnecting for no reason whatsoever. You guys didn't really miss anything. Let's see. There we go. Okay. All right. Well, the question is how do I get through here? glass here. Have to go around somehow. What? I do want those upgrades. Wow. Oh hey. Throw throw an explosive at me. Oh shit. Not like that. Like... Okay. I need to get rid of those other enemies before I can do that. There's an achievement for catching one of the grenades, which is easier when I'm not being attacked by, like, five different enemies. Do it. Oh, God damn it! That's so much easier said than done. I need to get rid of this fuck. Hold on. God damn it. Alright, just kill the fucking big one first before trying to do that. Because the grenade ones are not really much of a threat. Uh... Yeah, there we go. What? I'm sorry? Oh my god, what the- Hey, he killed him! <laughs> Throw it. There we go, and I got the achievement for that. That's all I wanted to do. Wait, you're alive? He's gonna kill himself. No, he moved away from it. All right, so stream should be all looking good right now, but bitrate looks fine, all that stuff. Yeah, of course I played Condemned. Wait, where am I going? 
I don't need to go that way. Still say it's an ugly Mewtwo. Also, if anyone says Mewtwo is ugly, then you're only talking about the Mega Evolutions and also you're wrong. Fuck you. <laughs> Just... You, Mewtwo's a Pokemon I actually grew to enjoy more over the years. Which one did I just pull? Oh, right, and I was trying to go on. Let's let's explore and see if I can get around to that. The water area. This, uh, the elevator went up there. Hmm. I wonder if there's more of a... I never really explored out here. I wonder if there's like another door out here. Did I go this way? I think I, I went this way right away, right? This just leads around to the main room. Oh no! Okay. Sick. Alright, I found it. That should give me enough for an upgrade and then... Shot range or walk speed? Uh, let's go with walk speed for now. Achievement unlocked runner. So I need just shot range too. That's the only upgrade I have left. Squiggly lines make me more amused than I should be. I feel like I should be exploring through all these things, because this game has like easter eggs and weird shit all over the place, and I really just haven't been looking around in this area. Hmm. Uh, I feel like I should be able to open this door or something with this ship, though. The ship looks oddly low res. Like, the textures are real low quality. Can I get on this ship? I'm sure I probably could from that window over here. The question is, where would I go on to. Uh. All opinions are wrong except Sanchez does. That's a weird one. Hold on, your name is Cubone and your favorite Pokemon is Mewtwo? You're lying. I don't believe you. <laughs> Why is there a giant tube humanoid? I don't know, man. There's so much weird shit in this game. Like, nothing makes any sense in this game, and I love this game for that. You're the septile. My, I'll, I'll let chat guess what my favorite Pokemon is. And it, at first will be a surprise, but it also will not at all be a surprise. Don't answer if you already know, because, like, I know Cubone and Terry probably knows. Oh. Mm, it's not Charizard. It's Miltank. I mean, Miltank's pretty good. Not close to my favorite, but pretty good. Mil Miltank's got the big mommy milkers. <laughs> Shit, hold on, hold on. Where did that open? I, I wasn't paying attention. This way. I think. No, wait. It went to the middle room. No, it didn't. It was actually that way. No bank and rotten hell. I, I can understand it. But it's obviously a Charizard is obviously not a dragon. I will never, never agree with that. It's also not Pikachu. What the fuck? I like Raichu more than I like Pikachu. Also, Charizard is not, it will not ever be a dragon. I just just gonna put that out there again. My favorite Pokemon is not a dragon, by the way. It's also not a fire type. Everyone thinks it's gonna be a dragon or a fire type, and it's neither of those things.
I think I know where it is. I think it's that one way off in the corner over here. Yeah, it is. Rayquaza? No. Not Gyarados either. Lucario is pretty good, but no. It's actually a much, much easier, <laughs> easier answer than you're, you'll give it credit for. <laughs> Once you realize it, you're like, oh. <laughs> okay. There you go, someone got it, it's Lugia. Lugia is so by far and away my favorite Pokemon that it's like in its own tier. Like it's it's like once someone says you're like, oh okay, that's way too easy, why would I guess that? Because it's too fucking easy. <laughs> I'm so used to having to actually look oh hey, I can see the surface. I'm so used to having to look at the thing I'm, I'm trying to manipulate in VR because of my last... I think that's where a secret was before. Yeah. Because the last headset I had, that's, that's how inside-out tracking works. Like I said, this is literally just on rail. It's half life one. Your Oculus to arrives tomorrow? I'm happy. VR is genuinely some of the most fun things I've ever played. Like, I, it's so hard to describe to people, like... I used to say the same things a lot of other people did, where it's like, I don't know, I'm not really very interested in VR, I don't see what it really offers. And then you put the headset on, and you're like, okay, I'm getting motion sick, there's so much I need to do to start playing VR. And then once you get over those initial hurdles of, like, once you don't get motion sick anymore, which will take a few, you know, like a week, but it's about what it took for me, suddenly you just love VR. <laughs> like, it's so hard to describe how much VR adds. And it's something totally different. That's something, it like, it made me obsess over certain games, which is not something I've had for a long time, because games have been pretty stale for a while. I think, like, I've had that with Doom Eternal. Um, I kind of had that with Ori, not really too much. But Ori is very good, though. I, but I very much so have had it with many different VR games. I've had it with Half of Alex, I've had it with Boneworks, I've had it with this game. Like, VR is just actually genuinely some of the best fun I've had in video games. If you buy me a game? Uh, no, that's why I just have recommendations. If a game looks interesting, I'll just, I'll just play it. Uh, if you want to force me to play a game, that's what I have, uh, Patreon goal for. There's, like, a Patreon thing where it's, like, if you give, I think I have it set to $100, I'll just immediately work on that for the next week's video, assuming no sponsors are in the way. Currently saving for Boneworks. I would tell you, do not play Boneworks. First thing, if you get into VR, <laughs> don't make Boneworks your first game. You're not gonna have a good time. <laughs> play half of Alex first. Uh, it, it's a lot more, it's a lot nicer to new players. It, it's a lot easier to deal with motion sickness. Half of Alex was made as like an entry point to VR. It's still very good top-notch VR game. But once you get over that motion sickness and that sort of get more used to VR, then play Boneworks. It's like a evolution. 
Walking Dead, I never really understood that. Like, people talk about it being so good, and I just never got it. Anyway, uh, playing the game. And by playing the game, I mean blowing shit up. That didn't go where I wanted it to. That did, but it didn't hit him. <laughs> Alright, let me just, uh... Do it the easy way. Ow. Am I still getting shot? How am I not shooting it? Okay, I guess I was hitting the wall. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, I just gotta teleport my way over there. This is mine now, bitch! Give me that. It's not a very original way to escalate a game, make a climax, but it certainly feels good, that's what she said. <laughs> Casually holding a minigun over a railing. This is so much easier with this headset, my, my tracking than my last headset would not allow me to do this. And I also have the upgrade that gives me... <laughs> you know, just casually shooting a minigun over my head. No big deal. Are they killing each other? Those clouds are... There's one near me. I think he's trying to shoot at me from below. Let me get rid of this guy. Oh, there you are. Even though those things can fly, they just, uh... Still try to go upstairs. Try Beat Saber. I don't understand the appeal to Beat Saber. Like, I've never really enjoyed uh, rhythm games. Not that I, like, think they're bad or hate them or anything, but, like, it's just boring. I want to play, like, an actual game. <laughs> this is now a serious Sam VR, which does exist. With VR as motion sickness, that's something you will get over. Like, getting over VR motion sickness is like riding a bike. Once you don't get motion sickness anymore, you're just suddenly over it. I probably should have seen if there was any upgrades in there. Oh, 
Oh, they're below. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? Where did you come from? Let me get down there. I like how the AI shoots where I last was. I really can't shoot through that glass, I guess. Oh my god, my frame rate. My poor frame rate. Who's watching me? <laughs> I see no drone. Some crazy fucking good satellite, probably. Alright, there has to be a... Uh, wait, can I one-hand this? Oh my lord. I am the world's strongest man. Woman, I guess. Oh, give me that. Oh, is there anything in here? I opened it with the minigun. No, not that one. Not that one. No, nothing in there. Uh, there's another key card down there, but it's the same. Okay, so it's pop right. I care not for the weight or recoil of this gun. I mean, that's fine about reaching the Zen of Trance or whatever, but I can do that by playing Doom Eternal and, you know, be playing like an actual game. Like, basically, I want something, like, deeper. I hope there's another upgrade around here. I'm so close to getting all of them. No. So let's get this in the main room. Oh my god. Okay, go that way. Let's let's do something here. Physics. Um, liking Sword and Shield honestly should not be a hot take. It it's still a good game. People are just really fucking big babies. I don't think it's a hot take. I think people that hate Pokemon nowadays are just really fucking loud about it. Oh, that's an elevator. Yeah, I don't think there's any secret or anything in this area. Sad. Like, as I tweeted not long ago... Oh, did I go in? This is where I came from, right? Is this right? No, I came from above. What's this? Let's just lead around? It just leads around. What's the point? What's the point? Eh. This is one light minigun. I, I'm so close to getting all of the upgrades. That's all I want. So all the upgrades. It's so sad. Also, why do I hear wind? I'm not outside.
Well, that's because you're looking on the internet for people that are trying to say they like something, where it's a lot easier to find people that hate literally everything because they're upset and they just hate the world and they don't like fun. Okay. Like, for real, it's I, as I tweeted a few days ago, actually, Game Freak haters at this point are really goddamn annoying. It's like they hate Pokemon, or they hate Game Freak so much they just want Pokemon to fail. You know, for a franchise they used to like, and they're just, like, so stuck in their ways that they don't even want it to be good anymore. They just want to hate Game Freak. That's it. <laughs> it's obnoxious. Like, yeah, I acknowledge Pokemon could be doing a lot better. Nexomon really showed what Pokemon can be. That doesn't mean I hate literally everything about Pokemon. Like, for fuck's sake. Music has no right being as good as it is. It's just very moody, atmospheric music. I mean, it just post it in my Discord under the game request channel, and if I care to cover it, I will. I mean, it has to be a first-person shooter, by the way. Same thing with 3 for 3 haters? Yeah, absolutely the same thing. They're even louder and even worse, I would argue. Halo community is really fucking toxic and it's just annoying. Postal? I am not a fan of Postal. I don't hate it, I just don't have any interest in it and I don't really find it very fun. Nor am I, nor do I find the humor very funny, I just think it's like lowbrow humor, which is the point, but that's not my thing. It's like the amount of people that also spam stuff about Stalker to me. I'm like, yeah, I get it. I know Stalker exists. Uh, yeah, it's the same thing with Parker. It's the same thing with really any franchise that gets big. Alright, is there any... oh. I don't think any of these doors lead anywhere, I think they just open. Oh yeah, I know what it's on my card is. That's on my wish list. Alright, well, that's it. Another motion sickness simulator? Please come to 
to an end. And not a moment too soon. You were practically out the door. My goodness, look at you. You almost look like you're from this universe. I would send you down to Axobiology for humane containment, but, you know. The place is just so full. I think we can find you a better home. Let's say, burning alive in a crucible of molten iron down in assembly? My goodness, what a mess. You've got the reactor quite riled up, haven't you? I haven't seen anything other than a few drones here on the upper floors in months. My name is Gentlehand, sworn protector of all fellow alien life forms, so unfortunately residing in this facility, yourself included. I'm sure you've gathered that by now, but all the various creatures in this reactor don't want to be here any more than you do. To Plank, though, we are uh, unfortunate byproducts of their precious quantum energy. Byproducts which must be no. disposed of. Please, no. Down to business, though. I have a feeling if I let you out, you're going to try to escape the reactor. I cannot allow you to do that. You see, Plank has one last line of defense against contaminant breaches. If you walk out that door, an orbital strike will level this entire mountain. Do you not believe me? I suppose it's difficult to trust anyone at the moment, given what you've been through. What we've both been through. It pains me greatly, but I shall do what I must. Fuck you! Seek the surface again, and I will kill you without hesitation. This time, I will grant you a sporting chance. I know your journey, for it was my journey once, but the surface is not the way home. The depths of the reactor hold more than the core, that much is certain. Perhaps you will have more luck than I at unraveling its mysteries. I am resigned to my fate, you are not. All I have left is my stewardship of the alien team. The endless fight against Plank. The looming threat of annihilation if just one plucky creature like you wanders out into the daylight. Don't let your story end as mine has. It's a long way down. And there is a deep, dark void up above. Yeah, so that's just how the game ends. The ending really sucks. <laughs> uh, Wolf is alive. I haven't seen you in a while. It's a Half-Life 1 ending, but it doesn't feel fulfilling. It feels like, in Half-Life 1, it feels, it's fulfilling in Half-Life 1 because you killed everything. You did what you were supposed to. In this game, the goal is escape and get to the surface. And like, you get to the surface finally and the game goes, no, nah, you don't even get to see it go back down. Like you just start all over. Like it erases all progress you made through the whole game, which is bullshit. <laughs> it, it really, really bad ending, honestly. Oh shit, people are doing things that I missed. Uh... 
Doggo Fall? No, I didn't miss that. PlayStation gave 100 bits 30 minutes ago. If you're still here, thank you. Ship poster followed. Also, welcome. I'm not sure how I missed that. Must have been too loud minigun to hear. Also, yeah, uh, Vertigo 2 is the thing that they're working on, but they haven't updated us in forever. I have no idea what's going on with that. Um, the Steam page still says coming soon 2020, so they're not they're either not communicating or it just doesn't isn't happening anymore. From what I've heard, it's still happening. It's just they haven't said anything. I got a new skin apparently. Unlock all upgrades in the other category, okay. Let's choose the robot. Play as the robot. Alright, so there is, uh, the DLC not only gives you- Oh, hold on, let me get this to stop. It's not new anymore. Okay. What did I miss? Unlock all achievements? I haven't got that. I can get this, but, like, I haven't got it. Oh! Danger guy with the resub. Welcome back. What I find really funny is that 2020 was actually an amazing year for video games. It was a shit year for literally everything else, but for video games it was kind of ridiculous. And thank god it was, I kept us sane. <laughs> anyway, uh, the DLC unlocks not only like four extra guns in the campaign that you wouldn't get without the DLC, because they weren't in the base game because this remastered edition adds a lot, but it also adds in like all of this stuff, like workshop levels, more or less. Shotgun time. Let's, uh, sure, let's go ahead and play this. Robot! Robot arm stretching is a little weird. Oh, uh, okay, bye. I feel so slow now. Let's overkill this one. <laughs> Just nothing but a torso left. I'm fine with having an entire level made for shotguns. Although this area right here reminds me of like the Windows XP screensavers. Gen 4 remake. I oh got I'm so mixed on the Gen 4 remakes. I genuinely think the Gen 4 remakes graphically look fucking worse than the original. They look so bad. I hate that, like, goofy, chibi art style. It just looks miserable to me. It looks so awful. Like, I'll probably still get it and still enjoy it, but I really hate that art style. Are you alive? What are you doing way out there? Oh my god, that didn't kill him. Pokemon Arceus is 2022. It's early 2022, so... I... the game... so what am I most excited for? I didn't kill it. So what am I most excited for coming up? Uh, I gotta say Halo Infinite. I, I really, really want Halo Infinite. It looks so good. 
What the fuck? Why did it shoot? Can I? Nope, I can't reach over that. Oh my god. Oh, one of them jumped off the cliff. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. It's those things. Oh my god! It has a butt. I'm gonna let those two fight. Or will it only spawn when I kill it? Yep. I hear another one below me still. The meat cubes. This is what happens to Minecraft Steve in this dimension. I, I really, really hate how they didn't use the Sword and sh Shield engine for the Gen 4 remakes. Like, it doesn't look better than Gen 4 at all. Like, it should have just made it properly 3D, but no. They didn't. It's dumb. This is a bizarre game. I did it! What's the world record? 27 seconds? The heck? Well, my place is at 280 while I'm fucking around. Something has to be wrong. 27 seconds, the next closest person is 40 seconds, which is still kind of absurd. Yeah, Soul Silver and I agree. Soul Silver and Heart Gold look a lot better. I think pretty much any of the Gen 4 or Gen 5 games look better. Well, the reason why the new remakes look like shit is pretty obvious. The art style is fucking terrible, which sounds subjective, but goddamn it looks bad. Uh like they could have I mean, we've already had a remake before on the Switch. Let's go. Let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee. They could have just used that engine and I would have been happy. <laughs> Art style in that game doesn't look ugly as all fuck. And yeah, I agree. Gen 3 remakes are great. Gen 3 remakes are probably my favorite Pokemon games. I think my favorite gen is Gen 2. And my favorite like region is like the remake of Gen 2, like Soul Silver. But I think as far as games go, Gen 3 is my favorite. Anyway, um, they, I'm just going to show you, this is not a whole lot to it, but people have been doing some crazy dumb stuff. Oh, I have a wand. Anyone wanted to play Mario in VR? Oh, 
Off to dinner. Ooh, minigun, hold up. How do I get in here? <laughs> All right. Saw a shadow. What? Oh, the birds. Darn. Uh, I don't know how to get in there. Even as a kid, you saw Diamond Pearl and thought that's not good. Well, Diamond and Pearl was great, though. We're talking about the remakes. Oh. Oh, my lord. I'll just spam in that general direction. <laughs> What's going on over here? something to do with these but I can't interact with them buy a whole new game for a singular Pokemon what I don't what are you referencing shotgun Oh, oh, compared to Platinum, yeah, I know, that is that is objectively correct. But, Platinum didn't come out first. It just addressed problems. Hold on, is there anything down here? There's a lever down here. What the fuck? <laughs> what happened? Someone clip that, please. I wish Pokemon did more straight sequels. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Nintendo, not Pokemon. I was going to say, I don't agree with Pokemon because I just want a new region and new Pokemon. The stories are never worth actually thinking about. And yes, that includes black and white. The stories are overrated as hell. They're really not that good. Something to do with those blocks. I don't know how to get the minigun, but whatever. Barely think of any other Platinums. Well, Platinum's not like a sequel. And Crystal was kind of what Platinum was, just not like that much of an improvement comparatively. Because Platinum was just a massive improvement. That's that's an understatement, like geez. Man, look at that spread. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Cubone. I feel like I need to put cubes in these. No? Okay. There's definitely a puzzle involving those, but I'm too lazy to care. What the fuck? Oh! Launch pad! Where does this launch me to? Okay, it's supposed to launch me to, uh, I get it. What? 
Ugh. It definitely can't launch me over to that, that's for sure. But that's just like a gun I don't really need. So whatever. Did Pokemon Z have X and Y legend? Pokemon Z didn't exist. So hard to find a good platformer these days. I feel like the only obvious answers to that are just Shovel Knight. <laughs> and I'm not going to call Ori a platformer because, you know, it's a Metroidvania, but it does have very good platforming, so. Alright, this will lead me over there, I think. No, this leads me. What the fuck? What kind of... That is some bullshit. You misled me. I have been lied to. Can I get up there? Yeah, that was... Gen 5 is when they stopped making a third one. Oh, I'm so close to being able to reach that. Wait, what am I doing? There we are. Alright. Give me that. Give me that. That led me back to the beginning. Are the question is, do I have explosive rents? No. This is normal. So this gun is better then. Um, well, you ha if you haven't played the Ori games, like, for real, go play the Ori games. They're so good. Cause the boss to start again? But I already killed him. Squish. <laughs> uh, I broke the mod. Well, it's unfortunate. Castle Assault? Sure, let's try this. Wait, I held both of those and something weird happened, but okay. What do I all got? I got this, I got pistol. Wait, I wonder, can I? It'd be better if I do it this way. Why isn't it reflecting? Okay, bye. far away. Let's play Star Wars. Oh! <laughs> well.
Friendly fire is killing them more than I am. All right, you're gonna have to go. the face up there security oh god the lag what the fuck what is going on why did it lag so much No, I didn't have to shoot the squishy guy. That's like a Easter egg thing. It's kind of like the gnome in Half-Life 2. All right, uh, you know, I'm not gonna explore much. Let's just go right in here. when I kill the top. Oh shit, it can shoot through that. Ow. My health come back. Can you... Put down the, the shield! Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Play golf. Wait, what? Oh. Something about this music, like, even the. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the music in this game is just like this mysterious. I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it. It fits so well. Hit the button for the elevator. And there's just a torso in here.
Need a purple card. Reminder, this was all made in-game with the DLC. It's actually pretty sick. But now it feels more natural to do this for me. Oh, okay. It was a trap. What's behind door number two? What's behind door number three? Way to go. Favorite expansion DLC of all time? Blood Dragon. Easy. <laughs> easy, easy answer. Wait, is that the face of the cube the monsters have? The bodies are all gone. Um, no, I don't have to go through it the moment it does. I can just hold it. I can look through it if I want to. It's just... Like, if I want, I can do this. And I can't see myself, but... I can just kind of... Pull myself through it. Ow. Climb on the, to the top of the castle. Oh, there's music. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that, that, that was it. That was the climax of this map. Can someone do uptime? Do uh, fun and guns, try this. Okay, an hour. Oh god, load. Oh, I played this one before. Am I not? Oh god, my hands are pushing me through the water. Because you can actually swim. I can't figure out how to do it, though. But I can't hit this button. So, like, how do I swim? That's only forward, so, like... Ow. The fuck? What the fuck? What are all you doing in here? Where did they come from? Oh god, I fell in. Okay, they're all dead now. If you move your hands, it goes through the water. That's a little annoying, actually. It's very confusing. No swimming! Wait, I got a gun.
This is a pretty dope ass music. I don't remember this music existing. I need to get back up there. What did that button open? Is that where all the enemies came from? Oh god, forklift. Come back. I'm trying to kill him when he's not facing a wall for very specific reasons. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> More toys. All right, let's go that way. I'm disappointed I can't drive the forklifts in this game. What's the point of a game I can't if I can't drive forklifts? Oh god. I- what the fuck? What Don't spawn enemies on both sides of me, what is that bullshit? Fuck it! Friendly fire. All right, let's not die this time. Vehicles in VR games, they're very tricky and they can make you feel really, really bad. All right, how do I do this? That was what killed me before. Well, this kill. Oh no, the elevator! I wanted to go back into the elevator as soon as I grabbed it, but it was going down. Why did it go down? Okay, this is a. Uh... This map is not very well made. That's a really, really, very, very dumb enemy spawns. Guess what I gotta do is I just grab a gun, kill the enemies behind me, and then back up right away. Or just get right back into the elevator and shoot him from below. It does have a sniper function. Alright, fuck you guys, I'm out! Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> it's raining bombs. How many bombs were up there? How did they expect me to survive that? Like, for real? Nowhere to go, nowhere to avoid them, they just expect me to live somehow? 
Oh god, the movement is like reversed because I'm holding my hand upward. That's really awkward. Heck. Yeah, fuck it, I'm just gonna go up there. All the explosives are gone, so it's fine. It has yeah, I saw it said a split screen co-op. I'm like, how the fuck does split screen co-op work for a VR game? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, we did it. Will my health come back? Stuff your heads in the one heads up. What do they want me to do here? Moving out of there. They killed themselves. Alright. Problem solved, I guess. more if I look up and try to aim it reverses my movement because it's like we're the, oh fuck it's like the direction your hand is facing which is really annoying guess is why they didn't have enemies above me uh oh not a oh give me that You ever blind fire with a minigun? <laughs> Fuck. Can I pick this up? No, not really. Alright, I forgot I can just one-hand this. You know, the lightest minigun of all time. We're back to doing this again. It's gonna put me right in the middle. I don't like that. See a gun over there. See a gun there. Why are you giving me more guns if I have a minigun? They just traps? Oh, oh. Oh no! Are you serious? That kills you? That's some bullshit, dude. What is that shit? Good thing they give you a checkpoint. Oh god, loading. Alright, have fun at work.
I'm moving away from that. Okay. Shoot this down, bitch. Why is my my movement going in different locations? Okay, they're too inaccurate to hit me. Their shots even stop right in front of me. Oh, one of you is still left. Actually, I'll leave that that way because I have a minigun, which is... Still hear another one. Somewhere. This glass is apparently unbreakable. I'll just keep shooting until he's dead. Or until I die. Who the f Why are there so many of you back there? Where are you coming from? Like, what the heck? Are they just spawning infinite enemies up there? And then a forklift runs him over. There's an explosive still in there, so... What the heck? You ever one hand a minigun and a grenade launcher at the same time? Uh oh, this is gonna break. Get out of here! Dude, bro, look at them all. Can I not shoot through that? I don't think they can. Or whatever. Oh, I don't like too high. That's too low. Oh, I got him. <laughs> this is kind of absurd. All right, now that I've done all that, bro, can you guys stop spawning? Oh, come on. Is there any more? Oh. Bro, they just like get stuck. Like, look at them all. Yeah, 
Okay. Actually, let me get, do this. the end. Look, we did it. We got Frank. We rescued the squishy fuck. The world record is 8 minutes 12 seconds. That's about right. Wow, only 5 people have finished this. Technically, I am the 4th fastest person in the world at this map. Uh, I will take this as a sign that this map is too difficult. <laughs> and that's why not many people have beaten it. Okay. I think... I can call that good. Like I said, pretty short stream. I didn't need too much. I just needed to beat the game and get a little bit more footage. I figured I might as well do it while I'm streaming. Oh, I'm gonna take my headset off. So, it's going to be end of the stream. Thanks to people who showed up. I hope you enjoyed it. Next time I will be streaming will be on Monday. You should be seeing a video this Friday of Hour of Victory. You'll be seeing a video on Vertigo Remastered next week, probably. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you then.